Hey guys, welcome back to Flawless Mix Academy. In this video by the title, you're gonna learn today how to pluck like a pro. So no long introduction, let's get into the video. I'm about to put on this wig for you guys can see the hairline so y'all can see what we about to pluck and get into right now. Um, so far, the only thing I did was mold my hair inside of a middle part because um, that's what I want for my hairstyle. It's a middle part. So I'm going to just throw on this wig where you guys can see the hairline and why we need to pluck. Like, why do we need to pluck this? So, you see? Like, it's like... Look at that. Look at that. Like, it's not even... Like, look at that. You see? You see that? Not plucked at all. Nowhere near plucked. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, guys. Nothing. So we're going to take this and make it magic. What you will need is a hot comb. Any good brand hot comb. I'm using Tai Chi. I usually like to use the Andes from Amazon. So you will need a hot comb. You will also need a comb. I have hair in it. You need a comb and you need tweezers. So we're gonna do a little bit of um, homework on tweezers. So my favorite tweezers I like to use are my pointed tip tweezers, which are these pointed tip tweezers. These are my favorite tweezers to use. And then you have slanted tip tweezers which is more of the, um, as you can see, the slanted tip. So I like to use pointed tip tweezers mainly because I like natural hairlines and precise hairlines. Although it would take a tad bit longer to pluck with these, um, your hairline, it pulls out in strands versus if you use slanted tip tweezers, it will pull out more in bulk. So it will pull out about three, four hair, um, pieces of hair, strands of hair, versus this that pulls out one strands of hair. Yes, you may pluck a little bit longer, but what do you suggest? More hair coming out or strands, which will be a more neat, precise hairline. So, pointed tip tweezers are my favorite to use. Um, the brand I like to use is Kiss. It is from the beauty supply store, but you can use tweezer men, which is a little bit more expensive. And I hate when I lose tweez um loose tweezers. These are about um four dollars the most, and I get it from the beauty supply store. So these are the tweezers that I'll be using in this video to get my hairline. So as you can see, um, this is our hairline completely. We have not did nothing. I have not did absolutely nothing to it. Um, the hairs are like this. It's full. Um, it's pre-plucked just a tad bit, as you can see. But we're gonna go in and just thin this out because we want a natural, a natural full, a natural um, sleek hairline. We want our hairline to look very natural. We still want it to be full. We don't want it to be too thinned out. I'm a person. I don't like overly drastic thinned out hairlines so i'm going to show you how to pluck a natural flawless hairline something that's natural that is it thins out but then it gets thicker you know you want your hairlines to be natural all this overly thinned hairlines your front toes is not going to last you're going to wear it for that one install and then that's it we want our wigs and our front toes to last so let's get into the video the first thing you're going to do is part your hair where you want it. So I'm doing a middle part. So right now I'm telling myself I'm gonna pluck in sections. So my first section will most likely be, I want you guys to pay attention to like the ridges. So this is one ridge, this is two ridge, and this is the third. So this is how I like to pluck my frontals or this will be a good way to pluck your frontal wigs or your frontals. You wanna go in sections. Follow the like the little grooves and curves, curses that you see. Don't try to go in and pluck all at once if you don't know really how to pluck. So you're gonna go in sections. 
So the first thing you wanna do is take your hot comb and just hot comb everything completely back. When you hot comb everything completely back, you get to see exactly how the hairline is, how the hairline is moving. You get to see where more hair is, where less hair is, where you need to pluck, where you shouldn't pluck. It just gives you a lot of insight to a lot of things. So I like to just start off by um, prepping my hairline and just hot combing everything completely back. After we, come, we do everything completely back, we're gonna start at the first section, which would be right here. That will be the first place that I will be starting. So you wanna take your comb and basically make a guideline like so and take the rest of here and just move it out of the way. If you have a clip or something, get a clip, or get something so you can move that hair out of the way. So this is our first section. Although it's a small section, it's best to start smaller than go in with big sections and you're all over the place. Make sure, you like, like I said before, we want nice, precise, neat plucking. So now we see our section. The first step you wanna do is take a little bit of hair out, like so. And what you're gonna do is pluck behind that. You wanna pluck going in a, towards the back. You do not wanna pluck in a slant. You don't wanna pluck like this. You wanna pluck going back. So your tweezers literally should move back. When you move, take your tweezers and pluck towards the back, you're gonna pull out strands. And just take your time. As you can see, you may not see it, but just take your time and just pluck. I don't have a plucking technique where I say you pluck here three times, you move in boxes. I don't do it like that. What I would say is do not stay in the same spot. You do not want to, you don't want to pluck here for like a second. You don't want to pluck here for like a minute. Don't stay in one spot. So you want to keep on moving your tweezers left to right. Left to right, right to left. So that would be my method. Right to left, left to right. Do not stay in the same spot. You do not want to stay in the same spot because if you stay in the same spot, you will overpluck. And we do not want no overpluck frontals. We don't want no overpluck frontal wigs. Do not stay in the same spot because you will create ball spots. We don't want that either. And as you can see how it's thinned out already, I'm going to go in more and just keep on thinning it out. So I per se, I like my ends the size to be thinned out more than my top to the top of my crown where my part is because I feel like it looks much better when your sides are thinned out more. So I like to thin out over here, up to here more and then my crown part where my parting will be, I like to um, be careful how much I pluck out or tweeze out. So now after that you plucked it out, you're gonna take your comb People make a lot of mistakes. They keep on plucking and don't comb out. You want to take your comb and make sure you comb out all those hairs because you want to make sure the hair is coming out. You don't want to just pluck and have it sit in there because you may pluck, pluck out that area already and keep on going in at the same spot. So you can see like how it's looking. I'm now going to take my hair back that I took out in front and put it back and go in with my tweezers again and just lightly, lightly pluck, lightly. So now you're looking for lightly pluck. You want it to look really like a nice gradient effect now. You see that? You see the, the, what we did from before and after? You're gonna take a little bit of hairs, like this much, and what I'm gonna do is pluck forward. And when you pluck forward, what are you getting rid of? Is that um, those cursive hairlines. 
You know, we don't want those cursive hairlines. We want it to look like just really natural. You want to get rid of, I don't, I'm going to show you guys right here. You see like how it goes, like you see like a curve. We don't want that. We want to get rid of that. So I take a little bit of hair in the front and pluck that out. So perfect. You did that. We're going to go into our second part now. So I'm going to take my hot comb again and just go in to make sure I like um, my plucking technique just to make sure everything's okay. Oh my gosh. One thing about red, your nose is going to get red regardless. It's going to turn a light pink regardless. No matter how many gloves you have on. So I like how my hairline is looking. I don't think I'm going to go in and tweeze out anything anymore. So now let's go to the second part. Our second section. So our second section will be this curve right here. So we're going to stop right here. We're going to take it and part it. And get that hair out the way. So this is our second section, right? What you don't want to do, guys, is touch this first section. Do not go in and touch here. We already plucked here. We want to stay within our sections. So now what we're going to do is try to match up here with here. And what I mean match, you want your gradient effect to kind of blend in with each other. As you can see right here is fuller. Over here is more thinner. But I, be, after I'm finished plucking, here is going to blend in with here. So we're going to take our hot comb again and just hot comb everything completely back make sure remember we want to see exactly what our hairline is looking like where we need to pluck and all that good stuff we use our comb and take out a little bit of hair in the front and we're going to start plucking behind that hair that we took out remember what i said to pluck going in a backwards motion you want to pluck your hairline going back, not slant, not up, not sideways, pluck going back. Also stay in the section of the hair that you took out. Move your tweezers left to right, left to right, right to left. Do not stay in the same space, do not stay in the same area. And you just want to calmly and take your time and just pluck this. If you're watching this video and you're not plucking right now, when you do, do not rush this, guys. This is something that you do not need to rush. Um, make sure you take your time. Make sure you're using your comb to comb out those hairs. Remember to comb those hairs out, guys. Do not, have, do not pluck and just have the hair sit in there because you are plucking. You want those hairs to come out. For you can see, sorry, for you can see where um where else you need to pluck at. So do not make those mistakes and just pluck and not comb those hairs out. And I'm gonna just keep on going in. And also, guys, I didn't um something I want to make sure I'm going in in between the hairs. Yeah, I'm not necessarily just staying at the tip, as you can see. You can see when I say pluck back. Your tweezers is going to keep on going in between those hairs. You see how my tweezers is all the way back here? So that's how I'm getting that natural gradient effect. I'm not just plucking just up here. You want to go back just a little bit. Your tweezers, when I say going to backward motion, the tweezers is going to naturally do for you. If you're going sideways, it's not going to take out those hairs. But say if you're going back, if you take out here, the tweezers is going to naturally pull out those hairs going backwards. That's why I tell you to pluck in a backwards motion. A backwards motion. Because you're dragging those hairs out. And as you're dragging those hairs out, you're dragging more hair out. You know what I'm saying? So, just take your time. Watch your favorite movie. And you're going to get the natural hairline that you're looking for. This is how I pluck all my hairlines. I pluck all my hairlines one way. This works for me. Um, 
So you can see how we're matching up now. You can see how it's, it looks. It's working for us. Our hairline is coming together. Boom. Now that hair that we took, I'm going to slightly put it back now. And now I'm going to go in and just pluck. Calmly pluck. You don't want to take out a lot of hair, but you just want to calmly, like calmly take your time and pluck those hairs to make it gradient. Now we're going to get rid of this little line thing, curve, cursive, we're gonna take that out. So we're gonna take out a little bit of hairs like so and pluck those forward to get rid of those. You don't have to pluck all them out. Boom. You just wanna get rid of that line. Okay, you just wanna get rid of that line. There you go. Take it and now comb it through. Comb it through. Take our hot comb and just I comb everything back. Look at that, guys. We doing it. We're doing it. There you go. You see how it's coming through? It's looking so good. Now, when you hot comb everything back, you can go in, like as you can see, like right here is a little thick for me. So I'm just going to go in and just tweeze that out a little bit. Boom. You just want to go in certain parts and see where else you want to pluck out. Like I said, this is your customization. You know what I'm saying? So some people may want this to be more than thou in certain places. You don't have to necessarily follow my exact steps. You may want to go more thinned out in me, and that's perfectly fine. I'm just showing you the basics on how you achieve that hairline, as you can see. From this, you see? Like, you see the difference, guys? Okay. section which is our crown this part is very very important because you do not want to over pluck this part because this is most likely where you do your part ends and I mean part ends more like this is where you do your middle part where you would do a right part where you would do a left part so up here you don't want it to be overly too plucked like how you would pluck out that sides because you don't want your parting to look very bald. We don't want bald partings. Bald partings are not attractive. They're not cute. And if you're doing this for a customer, they will complain that they, they cannot part their hair because it's a bald spot in their parting. So that's not what we're going for. That's the look we're definitely not going for. So I'm going to show you guys my technique, of course, of how I still get my front to be natural without overly plucking the front of my hairline. 
So the first things you want to do, like we always do, is take out your hair. Like so, we're going to take out those hairs. And we're going to pluck back, but we're not going to go in too far like how we did the sides. So you're just going to pluck back. But just take your time. Like now you kind of want to stay at the tip. You're still going in a backwards motion, but you're not plucking your hair going too, too far. You still want to stay at the tip. Also, you do not want to go, you don't want to touch this part, this part right here at all, really. So kind of not touch here. This part I'm really not going to touch. So you're going to take our hair and move that out the way. So I'm just staying more towards this side. And you want to do that to any part you're doing. So if you're doing a slept part, you will do the same thing. You don't want to really touch where your, um, where your part is. Because we want our parts to look like full. You want those parts to be really, really full. And you're just going to keep on plucking in the backwards motion. Move left to right. Right to left. And do not over pluck it. Boom. Make sure to take your comb and comb those hairs out because we want to see how much we plucked so far. We want to see what came out. Those things are important. You want to see those things. You don't want to just, like I would say, you don't want to just pluck. You want to see those hairs coming out. You want to see those hairs. You want to make sure you're plucking where you want to pluck. I'm gonna go in just a little tad bit more. And like I said, remember, you want them to match up. You see, my hairline is matching up. Okay, so I feel like it's, it's, it's done enough. So now, the front part, usually we will pull it back. What I'm gonna do is kindly just Pluck those hairs out a little bit. You're gonna pluck just a little bit of hairs. Not so much, just a little bit of hairs. Like, just a tad bit. I'm just gonna thin out those hairs just a little bit. There you go. And then I'm gonna pull it back. Oh, look at that. We created masterpieces over here. Gonna take that hot comb and just hot comb it back. You see that? You see what we did? You see how my it's still it's still thinned out, but it's still full. Like it looks natural. I'm I'm telling y'all, I love a natural hairline. I would never. I like my wigs and stuff to last. I don't know about anybody else, but I like my wigs to last. And you see how we didn't pluck right here and how it looks full. So this is what my hairline is giving. I'm going to um, pack home everything back so you guys can actually see everything now. Right? It's always, it's always, don't ever think it's, don't ever think it's never room for improvement. Don't ever think that you cannot go in and fix up or go in and pluck. I like to do those steps first and then I like to go in to um, see like where should I go in more at? Where can I pluck more at? Because we want those hairlines to be like, damn, like, we want those hairlines to be natural. We want those hairlines to be like goals. Period. That's the look we're going for. 
But we installed this. We want it to be like, what? Like, what lace? That's the look we're going for. We want natural hairlines all across the board. So what I'm gonna do, like guys, look at it. This is the side that we didn't pluck at all. We didn't pluck this at all versus the side that we did pluck. You see the difference? No pluck versus plucked. Okay, so I want y'all to see that it's progress. You know, take your time. You're gonna get the results. So what I like to go do it's carefully look at my hair lines. Down here is fine. I don't think I need to pluck anything else down here. So I like to look at my hairline. I just like to go in some spots and thin out just a little bit more. Thin out a tad bit more. That's what I like to do. On this side, you see me. I like to just thin out a tad bit more. My sides are great. Like, I love my sides. I may take out these hairs right here. Simply because I know how my hairline is. Um, and I think I'm good. I think I got my hairline how I wanted it to be. It's natural. It's flawless, it's given. And, and that's basically my plucking routine. That's how I get my flawless hairlines. Um, so we literally just plucked our left side together. So you're gonna take the same technique that I showed you. I'm gonna take the same, same technique I showed you and repeat it on this side. I'm going to do this side off camera just to save time because remember I told you guys I'm like over long videos, but I'm gonna do the same exact thing that I did on my left side on my right side and when i'm finished i'm gonna come back to you guys to show y'all the end and finish the look of plucking and what your hairline should look like so just take your time watch your favorite movie um listen to music do something that is gonna calm you make you at ease and just take your time this is gonna it's a little tedious it's a little long um you're not gonna pluck this in 10 minutes if you don't know how to pluck just follow this video, follow my guidelines, follow my steps. Remember to pluck back. Just remember the key things that I told you and I promise you, you will receive a flawless natural hairline. So let me go to the other side. I'm gonna come back to you guys. Hey guys, so I am back to show you guys the finished look. So here we go. So this is the finished look. Well, not the finished look, but this is how we pluck like a pro. I hope you guys 
did the other side and took your time and did everything and followed all, all the tips I gave you guys in this video. As you can see, I did go in and do the other side as well. And I just wanted to show you guys like wherever I part at, you can see like it's not really bald spots. Wherever I part at is still like clean. So that's what you want. Wherever you part, you still want it to be clean. You don't want it to be like a huge bald spot or anything of that sort. You still want your parting to be clean, neat, still want your customers or your clients to still be able to part wherever they wanted to although you plucked you know what I'm saying so you don't want to make sure when you pluck it you're not overly plucking where they can't part anymore because that's not going to be fun for them so just take that into um caution um and I just wanted to go over some tips for you guys remember to um pluck in sections um remember to this is okay to pluck in sections once you feel confident enough you can just go in and just zoom right through but remember follow these little grooves follow these little grooves these are your guidelines it will help you so pluck in sections another tip is to pluck in a backwards motion remember to pluck going back Use your tweezers going back. Pluck going back. Um, pointed tip tweezers are my recommended tweezers to use. I love these. These are my best tweezers. These are the tweezers I use to pluck all my frontals, all my closures, all my everything. Um, another thing I said to remember. Oh, remember to take your time and pluck. When you get to the crown, do not overly pluck your crown. As you can see that my crown is, is plucked. But it's not plucked like how my sides are plucked, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So just take your top and stuff like that. What else did we go over? Make sure to comb out those hairs when you're plucking. Don't pluck and just leave the hair. Remember to comb those hairs out. I do want to show you how many hairs, hairs I did pluck out. <laughs> so this is the amount of hair I plucked out. Yes, it's a lot. But, um... We want those hair lines, you know, we want those hair lines. And like I said, if you're someone who like more of an in-depth plucked out hairline, you can go in and do whatever you want. This is your frontal, this is your wig, this is your customization, this is your everything. I'm just showing you the basics and the fundamentals and the basics to get a natural hairline. But you can go in and pluck out more if you want to. Everybody's technique is different. Everybody likes different styles. But right here, this is good enough for me. And I'm okay. I'm fine with this. Now, when I put it on my head, if I feel like I want to pluck more, I will go in and pluck out more. But for right now, I love this. Um, it looks natural on my head. It looks natural on my canvas head. When I put it on myself, then if I have to pluck out more, I will pluck it out more on myself. What you don't want to do, and please don't do this, if you're sending wigs out to customers, do not pluck overly plucked out hairlines. Because when they get it, um, sometimes people don't want overly plucked hairlines. You cannot always go by what's trending because when you put it on someone, it's totally different. So I like to pluck enough, and then when I put it on myself, I will say to myself, well, you know, I could pluck out more hair. I want hair more thinner, but you just want to pluck enough. You want to give a great, nice, clean customization. I hope you guys um, found this video very informative. I hope you guys get the technique that you want. Um, a little trick, um, not trick, a little extra bonus I'm going to give you guys um, is when you're plucking your part, I like to part, make sure everything is clean first, and then I'll just take my tweezers and then just tag out the middle just a tad bit. Just go down the middle. I don't do that little box strategy that people do. I don't do that. Um, but I don't I don't do that box. You know, they look for the boxes. I don't do all that. I just take my tweezers and just slightly just go nicely go down the middle of my part. 
And of course, when I'm installing it, I'm gonna put makeup on, um, on my lace. But that's really it. Another thing you can do is go and pluck out like here, like how I'm plucking out the sides to make it so it don't have to be like a, you know, in dense, dense. But people do this if, you're, if your wig is dense. My wig is not dense, but it's just something I like to do. And this is another way to kind of clean up your parts, you know, um, and make it wider by plucking the sides. But um, I don't want to go in and do anything else to my wig. I actually like my wig how it is. I like the hairline how it is. So what I would do is basically now I'm going to go in and style it. And I'm going to come and show you guys how this wig looks on my head once everything is installed. Um, when everything is Plug. I'm gonna show you the final results and how this hairline will look directly on myself because I know you guys want to see it. All those on the canvas head, y'all see how bomb it looks. I know you guys want to see, like, let me see that on your head. Like, how is it looking on your head? And I'm gonna show you guys. So I'll be right back with the final look. I mean, a final look this time. Like, I'm be put together this time. So, um, VRB, guys. Hey guys, so I wanted to come and show you guys the finished look of how my plucking came out. Um, I didn't add no baby hairs because I simply didn't want any baby hairs. Um, so this is basically how it's looking. Um, so I hope y'all take the tips that I gave you guys. You know, I like to use my pointed tip tweezers. Make sure you pluck going back and just take your time. Um, plucking a frontal can be a little tedious and it could get annoying, but don't rush the process. Just take your time at it. Um, put on, like I said, I tell, like when I used to teach my students and stuff, put on your favorite movie, your favorite series, and just take your time and do it. Listen to some music, but don't try to rush the process because when you rush, you're gonna get ball spots, you're gonna over pluck, and you're gonna do a whole bunch of stuff that you have no business doing. But I just wanted to come and show you guys how it looks once I installed it, and this is all the plucking that we did. Um, yeah. I hope you guys really enjoy this tutorial, this little, little plucking, how to pluck like a pro. Um, like I said, you don't have to pluck exactly how I pluck. I just gave y'all a blueprint to follow. Like I said, some people may want to pluck more, some people want to pluck less. But I promise you, if you take the tips and the steps and the techniques that I demonstrated in this video, you're going to know how to pluck like a pro. You can always add your own little shebang, your own little you know, technique to it. I know some people like adding baby hair. Some people like to pluck, you know, going more in. But that's just the way I pluck and it works for me. But you can still take the tips and make it your own. That's the fun thing about it. You can make your own techniques. Um, Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you thought it was very helpful, make sure to thumbs me up. Talk to me in the comments. Let me know how you feel about the video. Let me know what you learned, what you didn't know before. Did I give you a tip that you didn't know before? Like, talk to me. I want to know how you guys feel with my, um, it's going to give me feedback as well. And don't forget to subscribe because we have more videos on the way. Thank you for tuning in to Flawless Face Academy, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.